A poor man was married to a beautiful woman. The man and his wife never fought. The husband loved his wife and she loved him too. They were very happy. But this loving couple had a rich, handsome neighbor who saw the poor man's beautiful wife and fell in love with her. I want to marry her, he said to himself. So, every day, when the woman's husband was busy working in the fields, the rich man went to the poor man's house. You're a beautiful woman, but your clothes look very old. Why doesn't your husband buy new, pretty clothes for you? I'm sure he doesn't love you. If he loved you, he would buy new clothes for you. Divorce him and marry me. I will buy you beautiful new clothes, the best in the country. Then, you will be the most beautiful woman in Baghdad. He said to the poor man's wife. At first, the woman didn't pay much attention to the rich man. However, he kept coming to her house every day, and each day he repeated the same words. At last, she began to think, maybe my neighbor is right. Why doesn't my husband get me beautiful new clothes? Maybe he doesn't love me. That night, she said to her husband, look at me, my dear. My clothes are old and ugly. I want new ones. Buy me some new clothes. Her husband smiled at her. You don't need new clothes, you are the most beautiful woman in the world to me, he said. She was angry. Don't you love me? If you love me, buy me a new dress, she said. He loved her and wanted to make her happy. I only have a little money and I need a new sickle. But I want my dear wife to be happy, he thought. So the next day, he went to the market and bought a new dress for his wife. He took the dress home and gave it to her. Thank you, my dear husband, she cried. Now I know that you love me. When the rich man came to see her again, she was wearing her new dress. The rich man shook his head. But a good husband doesn't only give his wife new clothes, he said. He gives her gold. Where's your gold necklace? Where are your gold rings? Why doesn't your husband give you those? He opened a box and showed her some beautiful gold jewelry. Look at these. Leave your husband and marry me, I will give all these to you, he said. The woman did not listen to him. Go away. I love my husband, and he loves me, and we are happy together. But the rich man would come again and again every day, and he showed her the box of jewelry. At last, she began to think, maybe my neighbor is right. Why doesn't my husband buy gold for me? Doesn't he love me? That day, she didn't cook food. Her husband came home late after a long day in the fields. He was tired and hungry. There's no dinner for you tonight, his wife said. You don't love me. What? My darling, I love you more than anything. You are the most beautiful person in the world, her husband cried. Then why don't you buy me some gold jewelry when a man loves his wife? 
he gives her gold rings and necklaces, she said. I spent all my money on her new clothes, how can I find more for gold? I'll go and see my brother. Maybe he will give me the money. I must buy gold for my dear wife. I want her to be happy, he thought. The next day, he went to visit his brother. Brother, give me some money, and I will work for you in your field, he said. All right, but you must work hard. There are many stones in my field, and you must move all of them away, his brother said. Her husband agreed and took the money. He went to the market, bought some gold jewelry, and took it home to his wife. His wife was very happy. She put the necklace round her neck and put the rings on her fingers. Look at me, she said. Don't I look beautiful? Thanks a lot, my dear husband. Now I'm sure you love me, she said. The next day, her husband left very early, even before the sunrise. He hurried to his brother's field, which was full of stones. I need to work really hard now, I should start early and finish late. I have to repay my debt to my brother, he thought. His wife was happily working at home. I.I.L. prepare delicious dinner for my husband tonight, he gives me beautiful presents and works so hard for me. I'm sure he loves me, she thought. Hello, a voice called. Are you there? The woman went outside, and her rich neighbor was standing there. Oh, it's you, the woman said. Listen, neighbor. You were mistaken about my husband. He got me this lovely jewelry yesterday. He cares about me a lot, and I love him. I won't divorce him, and I won't marry you. At last he said, your husband gave you clothes and jewelry, but I can give you more than that. What? What are you saying? The woman exclaimed. Can your husband perform miracles? The rich man asked. Miracles? No, he can't do that. Only God can make miracles happen. Men can't make them, the woman replied. But I can, because I love you. Love can create miracles. If your husband loves you, he can make miracles happen for you. If you love me, I will make miracles happen for you, the man said. I can't. You must promise to love me first. You have to leave your husband and be with me. Only then will I make wonderful miracles happen for you, the rich man answered. That night, the poor man returned home late. He was extremely tired and hungry. His wife brought water for him, and he washed himself. She also brought delicious food, and he enjoyed his meal. My dear husband works so hard for me and gets so tired and hungry. The rich man is silly. How can my husband perform miracles? It's impossible, she thought. But the rich man kept coming to her house again and again, day after day. Did your husband make a miracle for you yesterday? He asked the woman. Divorce him, love me, and I'll make lots and lots of miracles happen for you every day. At last, the woman began to listen to him. One day, when her husband came home, she looked sad. 
My dear wife, what's wrong with you? Are you sick? cried her husband. No, I'm not sick. I'm sad because you don't love me. What? You know I love you. I bought you new clothes. I got you gold jewelry. You're the most precious thing in the world to me, cried her husband. But you don't perform miracles for me, his wife said. Her poor husband was shocked. Miracles? Of course, I can't perform miracles, why do you want a miracle? Who gave you that idea, he said. Our neighbor came to see me today, he said, love makes miracle happen. If a man loves a woman, he will perform miracles for her. Her husband was very worried. That evil man wants to take my wife, all this trouble came from him. When he first came here, she wanted new clothes. Then she wanted gold jewelry. And now she wants a miracle. What can I do? If I don't perform a miracle, maybe my wife will leave me and marry him, he thought. The next day, he went to his brother's field to work. I must pray, only God can help me now, he thought. Oh God, please help me make a miracle. I love my wife and I want to keep her. Don't let this rich man take her away from me, he prayed. He worked all morning, moved stones from his brother's field. In the evening, he sat down under a tree to rest. There was already a man sitting there. Who are you? the poor man asked. I am a wizard, and I have a gift for you. Look, here are two sticks. They can perform miracles, answered the man. Miracles? What kind of miracles? The poor man asked, now feeling happy. If you touch a person with the first stick, he will become a donkey, the wizard said. The poor man thought of the rich man and smiled. A donkey? That's very good. And if I touch him with the second stick, what will happen, he asked. He will become a man again, said the wizard. The poor man took the sticks and thanked the wizard. Oh, thank you, my friend. I prayed to God, and he sent you to me. Now my wife will only be mine and I can teach my enemy a lesson. He ran to his home. Wife, come here. I'm going to perform a miracle, he called out. His wife came out of the house. He touched her with the first stick. And immediately, she turned into a donkey. She lifted her head and tried to speak, but she couldn't. Her husband touched her with the other stick. And instantly, she turned back into a woman. Husband, that's amazing. It's a real miracle. How did you do it? She said. I prayed to God, and he helped me. And now, wife, I am going to punish my enemy. Your enemy? Who is that? Asked his wife. You know my enemy, her husband said, looking at her seriously. It's the rich man, our neighbor. He comes to our house when I am working in the fields. He gives you bad ideas. Ask your husband for new clothes, he says. Ask him for gold jewelry. Ask him for a miracle. Am I right? 
Did our rich neighbor give you all these ideas? His wife didn't say anything. And you listened to him, her husband continued. His wife couldn't look at him. She was ashamed. I'm sorry. It's true, he said all those things. He wanted me to divorce you and marry him. And I listened to him. And do you want to divorce me and marry him? She looked at him, her eyes filled with tears. No. Dear husband, I want to stay with you forever, and I will never listen to him again. The next day, he went to work. And just after, the rich man arrived at the woman's house. Well, can your husband perform miracles yet? Yes, she said, and she touched him with the first stick. Immediately, the rich man turned into a donkey. Now, you can go to work and help my dear husband, said the woman. She took the donkey to the fields where her husband was working. He was moving stones from his brother's field. Ah, a donkey. Now I can finish my work quickly. From that day on, the poor man gave the donkey many heavy loads to carry. The donkey transported stones away from the fields, carried sacks to the market, and brought tea and flour back home. For many years, the donkey worked for the poor man. The poor man was not so poor anymore. The donkey was helping him, and he was becoming richer. One day, the poor man looked at the donkey who looked tired and old, standing still with its head bent down. The poor man felt sorry for it. He went into his house and took out the second stick. Then he touched the donkey with it. At once, the rich man stood there. But he was not a handsome young man now. He was old, with a bent back, looking very tired. You tried to take my wife away from me, that was wrong. Go home now. Don't look at any married woman again, said the poor man. The rich man went away, and never came back again. The poor man and his wife lived happily together for many more years.